What's up everyone? Hope you're having a great day so far. Tommy with Studio Sense here, of course, bringing you more content today about new releases. Stick around too because I have another giveaway winner to announce. We actually have two giveaways going on right now. Remember, we've got the full bottle of Azaro Solarissimo Favignana. We got that going on right now and the big box of samples along with the gym bag. That's the winner that we're going to announce today. So hang out with me for a little bit after we talk about the new releases. We've got that and more coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, and today we are collectively rubbing our greasy little fragrance collecting hands together because we've got some new releases to talk about, some new fragrances coming down the pike. What is a pike anyway, and why do things come down it? That's not what I'm here to answer. What I'm here to do is talk about new fragrance. So it's not going to take a ton of time. Then we'll announce the contest winner of the giveaway of the gym bag and the ton of samples that was a week or two ago. We're going to announce that winner today. All right, let's jump into some announcements of new fragrance releases. Recently, it was announced that for you lovers of Azaro and Azaro Chrome, there is a new Chrome flanker that's coming up and you can pretty much guess what it's going to be because 2023 has officially been declared by Studio Sins the year of the parfum, the year of the Le Parfum. Even though there are a literal ton of them right now, I for one am happy to see another chrome flanker added to the collection or the catalog because chrome is a great, fresh, solid signature scent for men and chrome the parfum edition looks like it's going to be another great entry it is said to ignite your motivation so that you can easily accomplish your goals chrome parfum is inspired by a mediterranean pine forest in tandem with the mediterranean sea a place of longing kind of makes me think of that one if by land two if by sea the write-up indicates that balsamic fir balsam and mastic bush in interaction with the invigorating freshness of bergamot create a particularly exciting composition and invite you to celebrate the here and now. The intensity of this interpretation is also evident in the iconic bottle with the bright blue finish. I really like that bottle now. If you notice the EDP version, it's got a nice gradient that starts out kind of dark from the top and gets lighter and clear to the bottom. The Parfum Edition bottle looks like it's going to be all one blue tone or finish. Its classification is a citrus aromatic fragrance. It features a top note of bergamot followed by a heart note of sage and base notes of mastic and fir. One thing I really liked about the EDP is just how clean it is and how crisp it's a fairly simple linear fragrance which I don't mind linearity that's never an issue it's like something you can count on and rely on specifically for a signature scent so if chrome parfum follows suit that just means it's gonna be an even more intense kind of clean experience for the user so definitely looking forward to that new chrome flanker Fans of Issey Miyake will be happy to know there's a new Lodissi Porom fragrance coming out. It is Lodissi Porom Vetiver, a certified vegan fragrance. I still kind of shrug when it comes to certified vegan, but I am very impressed with their dedication towards recyclable materials and making use of them when it comes to creating fragrance. In terms of the presentation, the cap is going to be made out of wood from sustainably managed forests. It won't have any plastic in it whatsoever. And 93% of the ingredients used to make Lodissi Porom Vetiver are going to be like vegan and natural, nothing synthetic or fake. Speaking of the ingredients, it's classified as a spicy woody fragrance and it features top notes of ginger with a heart note of sage and a base note of you guessed it, vetiver. They describe it this way in the liner notes, the woody notes of powerful vetiver lifted by spicy ginger and warm sage. It's a streamlined formula composed only of essentials like an ode to the elements which triggers an instant addiction. In this new eau de toilette, intense vetiver root exudes its woody generosity. So that vetiver, vetiver root, is going to be the primary note, the primary player. Looking for something that's going to be very elegant, very dry, very refined. Isimiyake has a pretty good track record when it comes to that. My only concern is that their best fragrances on the market, in, in my opinion, many others, are their cold weather fragrances. The, the summertime or midline kind of fragrances lack a little bit of inspiration. Hopefully this will prove kind of a fresh start in that direction. So for those of you that enjoy the Lodissi line, be on the lookout for Lodissi Forum Vetiver. For you sport fragrance lovers out there, you'll be happy to know that Lacoste, and in particular the L1212 line, is adding an addition 
to that line. They recently released L1212 Eau Fraiche, which is a great little fragrance. And now they're going to be releasing L1212 Blanc Eau Intense. I like the dark green gradient in this bottle. It's kind of a nod towards the intensity of the fragrance. It's just going to be a more intense, fresher experience. Its classification is that of an aromatic fougere, and it's described this way. It oozes juicy mandarin and lavender and is accented by a warm note of white leather and vetiver, which is going to be interesting. The contrast between the warm and the cold gives this masculine fougere fragrance its very special elegance. So they're using that hot and cold trope that often fragrances use, but not all of them get it right. Going over those notes in detail, it is considered a fougere aromatic leathery fragrance with a top note of mandarin, turmeric leaf, and cardamom, followed by middle notes of lavender, clary sage, and armoire, and base notes of vetiver, leather, and sandalwood. So leather, interestingly enough, makes an intelligent appearance in this fragrance, hopefully. So keep your eyes on the fragrance horizon for L1212 Blanc Eau Intense. And in fact, if you want to order it now, there's a website that I've linked below. I have no association with the website whatsoever. It's actually coming from Poland, so it takes about 14 days, 15 days, if you're in the US. And at that time, it might be in other stores. And I think it's like 75 bucks for 100 mil, and 60 something for a 50 mil. And those are the two sizes that it comes in. For those of you that haven't had an opportunity to purchase and wear Emporio Armani's Stronger With You fragrance, where have you been all your life? Because that's an amazing gourmand fragrance. You'll be happy to know that they're releasing it in a new cool looking bottle. It's only gonna be 50 mil though, so the bottle itself is gonna be relatively smaller size, but it's Stronger With You Limited Edition, 2023 Limited Edition. The presentation style that they're going for is a pixel art style. And if you don't know what pixel art is, here is a representation of the notes using pixel art. It just looks like bad computer generated art. It's just a nod to the eight and 16 bit CGI days of yesteryear, but but it makes for a cool looking bottle, cool looking presentation. So for those of you that are collectors, you might want to check out Stronger With You Limited Edition. As far as the notes are concerned, they did list the notes and they are pretty much exactly note for note, the same as the original Stronger With You. Just like the recent Carolina Herrera's Bad Boy Gold Fantasy was exactly the same Bad Boy DNA, just a different bottle. Same thing in this case, but it is a cool bottle, so you might want to check it out. Well, that's it for today's new release announcements. I do want to take a moment now to announce the contest winner of the recent giveaway. It's a giveaway including an actual box of samples that I have and a gym bag. Uh, if you might remember, I asked you what your favorite fresh fragrance was your kind of go-to quick grab you'll be happy to know that the random comment picker picked a newbie and when i say newbie someone that's just getting started and i think his favorite freshie was a periellus 360 red which is a good one it's a solid fragrance for a cheapie and the winner is videsh 84 or Videsh84, if I'm saying that wrong. So congratulations goes out to VIDESH84. If you're watching this video, shoot your details to me at studiosense at gmail.com. You can leave them publicly on our community page. I don't recommend it. Uh, it's just easy to shoot me an email. Plus it prevents confusion from scams that often will post that people have won when it's actually not me posting that you've won. So Videsh84, you are the winner. Again, shoot me your details at studiosense at gmail.com. Give me your address information. Guys, thanks so much for your time and attention today. We're gonna to be announcing the giveaway winner to the contest of the Solarissimo Favignana very shortly. Keep your eyes peeled for that one. That's gonna be coming up soon. But that's it, that's a wrap on today's video. Thanks so much for your continued support on my channel. And don't forget guys to enter contests when I have them. You know, even if you've never won anything before, that doesn't mean you're not gonna be a winner in my contest. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and I'll see you tomorrow.